Hello and welcome to the first episode of this tutorial series on how to use C Sharp in the context of Godot. In the first episode I'm simply going to show you exactly how to install all the necessary programs and tools. Therefore we will first head into Firefox and uh, download Godot. Um, you simply head onto godotengine.org slash download and download the version that you need. Um, it is important that you download the Modo version with the, with the C Sharp support so that you can actually use C Sharp. So you simply add on download. So once it is this is downloaded, you simply extract the zip file and open Godot from there. And next you go on .NET or Microsoft.com slash download slash .NET and uh, you install .NET Core 3.1. Here you had to install this and download your uh, the version that you need and additionally you will need the .NET Framework 4.7.2 um, it is kind of necessary uh, to work with Godot there I had quite a few issues because I didn't have an install so simply install it it won't hurt you okay, click on this link and uh, download the installer of course when installing simply follow the instructions on screen and lastly, uh, we'll download Visual Studio Code. This is our text editor, which we use to code um, our C Sharp code. Uh, yeah, and it, it is great because it has great C Sharp support, great Godot support. Um, it, it works quite well. So we uh, hit on download for Windows or whatever operating system that you have. So now that everything is installed, we head into Visual Studio uh, Code and we install our first extensions. Here what we need is, for one, uh, probably the most important one is C-sharp. Um, here you uh, click on the first uh, first extension um, from Microsoft and you hit install. Now we will enter Godot and download Godot Tools, uh, which is kind of a extension that helps us that integrates Godot with uh, Visual Studio Codes. You also hit install. And um, what we also need is C-Sharp tools for Godot. Um, it is kind of useful uh, when using C-Sharp in the context of Godot. And uh, yeah, you also hit install. Now that uh, Visual Studio is set up, we can head into Godot itself. Um, and right here, we have our project list. And here we will hit on new project and first we'll browse for a folder so here i have my folder selected it is very important that the folder is empty so that godot can fill it with all the files that it needs so we select the current folder and we give it a, a, pro a proper name i like to call uh, i like to uh, have it all styled like this but this is preference and next we have to pick a renderer um, here we have to choose between OpenGL uh, ES 3.0 and 2.0. Um, for this video we will pick 3.0, but keep in mind that when you are working with lower end hardware or especially if you're creating web applications or web uh, games that are supposed to be played through the browser, um, then you have should pick uh, OpenGL 2.0. But for this video, as I said, OpenGL 3.0 is going to be fine. So now uh, we have everything installed, everything set up, and in the next episode we will create our first scenes and already start to program.